Hi, I'm Kitty Axelson Berry, and I've been a dedicated patron of the Jones Library ever since my oldest daughter was a toddler going to story hour every week, and we were living without electricity and running water up in North Leverett. It's been a long while. For decades, I left library governance to others, figuring that the trustees and the director would just handle it. In fact, I left town governance to others. I was busy with family and career. But over time, by now, I've come to realize that public participation is the essence of our amazing town. It's a college town where only the age has been silent. For generations, people here have nurtured the town's vitality, our unique mix of people and ideas, and in fact, are mostly progressive, aware ideas and values, such as our recent support at town meeting of Sanctuary and Net Zero Energy. After I moved here from Leverett, I became a member, a very proud member of town meeting, Precinct 6. And it was in town meeting, hearing about the trustees' plan to demolish and expand the library, that I learned that the Jones has issues you see, everyone I've talked about, talking to, spoken to, loves the Jones Library with its cozy, home-like atmosphere. In fact, a 2015 trustees service survey of over 900 library users found that they were mostly quite content, except that they wanted more short-term parking. Unfortunately, that survey and the official comment sessions have not been taken seriously. Over the years, the library has suffered from neglect, serious neglect, with maintenance and repairs long overdue. What is needed? Wheelchair height desks. More computers, which is especially important to lower income residents. Benefits for part-time employees. The Jones actually already has convenient parking spaces, but they should be made available to the public. And I'd like a space use survey. I tried to get appointed to the library's board of trustees to fill a temporary tra vacancy twice. Both times I was asked, are you in favor of our building plans? Now I was just being honest, not political, when I responded no, and I was turned down. So now I'm asking you to elect me. I promise to shake up the board, but gently, in a team player kind of way. And as the former editor-in-chief of the Valley and Springfield Advocates during the 80s and early 90s, and even more so as a successful small business owner, I've had responsibility for budgets, a million details, and ultimately delivery of the goods, whether it's investigative reporting or commission memoirs, which is my business. And if you want more information about me, you can go to the About page of my website, which is modernmemoirs.com. I'm an experienced team player, skilled at resolving differences, trained in how to work with difficult people. And I've, I'm resourceful as rainmaker, manager, worker, and breadwinner. You and I, our children and our grandchildren, love the Jones rather than insisting on an unpopular demolition expansion plan that was not funded at the state level. I want its beautiful spaces repaired and renovated it's part-time workers compensated fairly and computers for low-income people and more attention to the branches. As trustee, I would place highest value on meaningful, meaningful public participation. It really doesn't allow work to allow lip service and not take people seriously. And I would work with the other trustees for an accelerated, at least LEED certified plan for our library. Everything we love about Amherst is up for grabs on March 27th. If you love our town and meaningful public participation, vote no on the charter. If you love our libraries and meaningful participation, vote for me, Kitty Axelson Berry. Look for my brochures, the ones with the kitty on them. Thank you.